Further on our discussion on schizophrenia. This is an excerpt from a report by Dr. Arturo Vitali. One of the great mysteries of the research into schizophrenia has been to understand what happens in the brain when a person suffers hallucinations. Dr. Arturo Vitali, a Conicet researcher at the Institute of Psychochemical Research, Theory and Applications, INIFTA, Conicet, Universidad Nacional de La Plata, which has its headquarters in the capital of Buenos Aires, has studied the structure and functions of this, and the hallucinogenic compounds similar to the effects of ayahuasca, since the experimental psychosis induced by the drink is similar to schizoid reactions. Schizophrenia is no longer studied with patients who suffer from this condition, rather with healthy volunteers who have consumed ayahuasca containing various vegetables, and is consumed by certain ethnic groups in the Amazon region of South America. On the disease, some years ago it was hypothesized that schizophrenia is linked to a chemical modification which is generated by a large amount of hallucinogenic compounds in the brain. Schizophrenia, from the Greek schizo, division or excision, and phrenos, mind, is the most common of all mental illness and is suffered by 1% of humanity. It is a disease belonging to the group of psychosis manifested in adolescence and is characterized by the person at some point during the course of the disease losing touch with reality. This comes from a series of phenomena including hallucinations and delusions. According to the hypothesis we have studied for 10 years, schizophrenia has its origin in a chemical disturbance which would be a chemical reaction called transmethylation. Certain neurotransmitters are transformed into a chemical structure that would give them the ability to induce psychotic symptoms, says Dr. Arturo Vitali, a researcher at Conicet. These methylated compounds were found to be in the urine of psychotic patients. This scenario ended the debate about whether schizophrenia is of a metabolic origin or it's an illness of psychological origin. Another part of the study was to observe the effects of a brew called ayahuasca, made from certain plants of the Amazon rainforest, which has the ability to induce hallucinations similar to those experienced in schizophrenia. There are different types of schizophrenia. A simple form appears in the early years of adolescence with a tendency to be inward dominated autism. The hallucinations are auditory and visual. The hebephrenic form leads to regressive behavior, psychomotor excitation with a tendency to insult, aggression and destruction and total disorientation that can occur in two or three years. A demented state, a cataconic state accompanied by increased muscle tone and vital signs below the normal range. But perhaps the best known is the schizophrenia paranoid type, which is the most late occurring between 20 and 22 years, and among other things, produces delusions of grandeur, of persecution, and self-reference. Finally, less common forms are bipolar disorder, manic depression, the pseudo-neurotica, neurosis and infantile autism, and residual schizophrenia. Schizophrenia, a chemical problem. At first it was thought that the reasons were purely psychological, but now it is known to be primarily chemical. Biological psychiatry studies the chemical causes and demonstrates the transmethylation to which reference was made. The group INIFTA established an experimental model of schizophrenia. We had to find some model that that could induce a transient schizophrenia box in order to study the chemical and biochemical parameters involved and show that the disease may have a metabolic origin, explains Vitaly. For that, they had to resort to primitive cultures and contemporary Brazilian syncretic religions whose followers consume the vine of the soul, better known as ayahuasca. This drink was originally used by certain ethnic groups in the Amazon and now also by the middle and upper classes of that country, which is permitted since 1987. It is also consumed in some parts of the United States where it is banned by the DEA, Government Agency Against Drug Trafficking and Illegal Sales. 
Why this comparison? The question that arises is why reference is made to ayahuasca in speaking of schizophrenia. Studies by researchers, INIFPA, and the Faculty of Natural Sciences at the University of Buenos Aires show that perceptual distortions are primarily visual lights, flashes, colors, shape and abstract forms, illusions, geometric patterns that move quickly with great emotional content. They are similar to schizophrenic hallucinations. Those who drink ayahuasca can be controlled from outside by the shaman, and although the effect is powerful, then disappears, apparently without lasting effects, says Vitaly. The beverage is a mixture of vegetables, one of which is very rich in N-dimethyltryptamine, DMT. This substance, as already mentioned, is found quite frequently in the urine of schizophrenic patients. The research team concluded that after this check, they will continue studying the disease, not only with patients who suffer, but healthy volunteers who have consumed ayahuasca. Thank you for your attention.